I'm going to do an exercise for Japanese mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to Richi mahjong, look for information below the video to some fundamentals. There is a quite lengthy tutorial that is well worth the time. And then there are two other resources that I highly recommend. One is a book by Scott Miller, and another is a ebook by Dana Chiba. All that is in the video description below. So have at it and learn how to play this great version. In this exercise, I'm gonna do what I call random pulls. They're basically a what would you do? So we're gonna get drawn tiles that mimic your drawn hand and see if we can find scoring elements. We're gonna do six of them in hopefully under 12 minutes. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have a Hanchen indicator here. That is spelled H-A-N-C-H-A-N, Hanchen. It's basically the wind of the round. There are two rounds, east and south. So with these random pulls, we're going to alternate. Let's roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled a five, so we're going to be the dealer. Seat one, east round, first random pull. I'm going to get 14 tiles, and we'll see if we can find scoring elements. If you don't know the scoring elements, there's a link below the video to this player reference. In here are all the Yaku. That's called a Yaku table. And then on the back is all the scoring. That way you can follow along. Let's draw Dora. For Bam is Dora. We have a pair, 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 single honors. Let's see. I think even though we have only three pair, I think I would probably play, you know what we could do is maybe play outside hand. We'd have to pair these up though, but we could maybe do one, two, three chi. This could be pure double chi instead of two potential pawns. So a three of a kind, that's called a pawn. So we would need to pwn that with another one bam and this with a two bam. But instead, if a three bam is discarded or we draw one, we could do one, two, three, one, two, three. That's called pure double chi if we can get those threes. That is also called Ipiku, and that's one Han. So I think I probably would try for outside hand here. Discard the six dot first. That way, maybe we could pair up and pong these honors. Outside hand is one Han. If it's concealed, you get an extra Han. So I think that's what I would do here. Outside hand, maybe pure double chi. Oh, an outside hand is called chanta. If you would do something different, right? Random pull one, or maybe pull one and what you would do with these tiles. If we had a one crack or a nine crack, we could play 13 orphans. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because you gotta have a pair in there, but 13 orphans is called Kokushi Muso. And that's a Yakuman, that's 10 Han. But we have a gap, no one crack or nine crack. I think either way we could discard this and just see what happens. I mean, we'd have to play it through, but the pattern is there. We'd have to throw away either this or this as well if we played 13 Orphans. 
Anytime I have single honors like that, I think about 13 orphans, and we do have the ones and nines. You have to have a one and a nine in each suit, and then one of each of the winds and dragons, and then any of those tiles paired, which we have a one band paired and a nine dot paired, so we would be able to use one of them. Okay, let's move on. We're going to do south round now, second random pull. This time we're going to be in the fourth player's seat. That would be north. So south round, north seat, non-dealer. Let's pull Dora. Seven Bam is Dora right there. Okay, so south round, Dora is seven bam. So I think what I would do here, it is the south round and we're in the north seat, but these are single honors. This is isolated, isolated. We have two pair and Dora. I think what I would do here is discard these single honors and play all cheese. If we pair up, we could play all pwn. All pwn is called toy toy, and that I believe is two han. Yes, two han. So if we get rid of these, number tiles are much more flexible because you can cheat or pwn, whereas with honors, you can pair up and pwn. That's it. And if you don't know those terms yet, a chi is three in a sequence, like five, six, seven, or one, two, three. And a pwn is three of a kind, like three, three bams, or three, five cracks. So any pair is a potential pwn. Pwns are typically more valuable than chis. So I think I would discard those, play pinfu. If you would do something different here, write pull two and what you would do with these tiles. Back to east round. Third pull. This time we're going to be in north seat. Non-dealer. Let's pull Dora. Five bam. Five bam is Dora. Okay, so we want to leverage that. I think I would discard these two and play Pin Fu again. These are isolated. One five. But here we have potential Chi. Potential Chi. Potential Chi. Chi. We could get rid of these. I mean, technically, we could maybe use the west because it is the east round and we're in north seat. So this west would have no value for the north seat. So we could potentially use that, but these are more flexible than honors. So I would rather keep those, discard these, try to get more chi potential because right here we have one two three four blocks we still need a pair in here and these are all weak weights a weight is when you're waiting to complete a block like six seven eight that's done that's complete but here we're waiting on the middle number middle number middle number these are all closed weights and they are they are weak what you really want is a side weight, like six, seven, waiting on either an eight or a five, for example, like that, one or the other. That is the strongest weight for number tiles. So 
with pinfu, which is all cheese, you have to have a side weight. So we need to improve these weights or draw in here and get maybe a four crack or a six crack that would create a side weight here. With ones and nines, you would have what's called an edge weight. So that's not really gonna help much at the moment. I would definitely discard these first and go for pinfu here. We do have all the fives. So we potentially could, if we get a six crack or a seven crack, we could do something called mixed triple chi, the same sequence in all three suits. That's called Sanshoku Dojun. And that is one Han mixed triple chi. So there is potential for that. If you would do something different here, write it in the comment section. There is actually mixed triple chi potential with three, four, five. Three, five, three, five, five, but again, closed weights. So there's lots of potential there if we could build this up right here. South round, fourth pull. I rolled a seven. That would be west. So we're in west seat and it is the south round or non-dealer. Okay, let's pull Dora. Eight bam is Dora. Eight bam, we have the nine bam and we have a six bam. So we could use Dora with a chi maybe since we have the suit for Dora. So I think I would discard these first and play Pinfu again. These are isolated, this is isolated, but here we have a potential chi, potential chi, yeah, this is gonna take a while to build up because we have lots of isolated tiles. These are the only, this is the only chi potential right there. I would still try for pinfu though. Discard these first. It doesn't take long to build up chi potential if you're patient. We do have all the nines. Seven, eight, nine. It's very light with dots and bams though. But if we did build up the eight, seven, eight, nine, we could even leverage Dora and get mixed triple chi. There's a ways to go for that though, but we have all the nines. East round. We're in North seat. Non-dealer. Let's pull Dora. Eight dot. We have the Dora suit. There's a six. We could do a chi with six, seven, eight. This is gonna take a little work. I don't know if that's uh, eight dot will work here just because we do have potential with chi's here. Here's a pair. These are isolated or we could make that a potential chi. I think I would go for pinfu again and discard these single honors. Number tiles, go for flexibility. 
I don't see too many repeating patterns here. Three, four, four, six, one, two, eight, nine, nine. So this is going to take some work, but I would try for pin foo here. Last pull, south round. I rolled a seven, so that would be west. Non-dealer. Dora. The progression for winds is east, south, west, north. So south is Dora. It is the south round. We're in west seat. So neither of these will bring any additional score. Let's look at chi potential here. There's chi potential there. And there. That's it. I still think I would try for cheese though. Get rid of these first. Hoard number tiles. Hoard. We're going to need a lot of work here. We do have a 6886. Eight, so there is a slight potential for 678 cheese. That's going to take work though. But I always try to find repeating patterns. Six, eight, eight, six, six, seven, eight, maybe. So I would hold number tiles, get rid of these. I hope you found that exercise helpful. It has helped me a lot. I've learned the Yaku. When you play online, you've got to think fast. And if you do this exercise, it kind of takes the pressure off when you play online or even in a live game. If you have a set at home, I encourage you to give it a try. Let me know if it helps you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Richie Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.